My name is Nestor Cristana and I am a speculative designer and multimedia artist. I have a background in restoration and design as well as a master's degree in the Design Interactions program by the Royal College of Art. The project that I developed here at the Kyoto Institute of Technology involved exploring scenarios and applications for 2.5D printing technologies. 2.5D printing is color and texture printing on flat surfaces. It sits between 2D and 3D, hence its name. The big advantage in relation to 3D technologies is that it's able to combine a very high resolution color printing with texture. We found that 2.5D technologies could open opportunities for applications within museology, for example. But it's also an area that I have some expertise, so we decided to develop it further. Imagine if, for example, we could create a very high resolution replica of a painting that could be in exhibition while its original is being uh, restored or undergoing a conservation treatment. Or if you could create a very high resolution replica or replicas of fragile physiological artifacts such as textiles uh, to be handled and studied and even to serve as a base to identify forges. One of the big topics in conservation and restoration of works of art is how much can you intervene in a museological piece. Something that we found interesting was the combination of imaging painting algorithms with 2.5D technologies for the restoration of works of art. For example, an algorithm could be trained to study uh, the works of a particular artist, brush strokes, colors, pigments, and other patterns that identify that particular artist. And this algorithm uh, could then be used to fill in the gaps of a damaged painting to create a 2.5D restored replica uh, uh, that could be exhibited alongside its original. This algorithm would have access to a huge database of information for a particular artist and potentially removing human error. It would also make the restoration process perhaps much faster and efficient and obviously the professionals could control the parameters that make up this algorithm to create a certain type of result. In order to effectively obtain a 2.5D replica or restored a version of a museological piece, we would have to have very high resolution color scanners and 2.5D printers able to capture every microscopic detail of a work of art. So we decided to go ahead and test the technology that CASI developed and its limitations. We worked with KT Archive and Museum and selected a series of works made of different materials with the purpose of testing the resolution of the 2.5D printer in relation to different materials. First, we scan these works of art using a coordinate measuring machine that we have here at KIT. This machine is able to retrieve very detailed and microscopic point data that we then exported as STL files and combined them with very high resolution photographs of the original uh, works of art. So we ended up with very high resolution digital versions of these original works of art. The big challenge was really materializing the 3D color scans. It was just impossible to print them with the resolution that we were aiming for and with the technology that we currently have. The mismatch between the original and the replica were very, very, very noticeable. This was one of the reasons why we decided to develop the project, imagining what if 2.5D technologies were able to meet the resolution that we were aiming for. 
and what applications could develop from this scenario. So the project really imagines a possible future in which 2.5D technologies are so advanced that they're able to replicate the microscopic structures of materials such as paintings and woods and even textiles. The narrative of the project develops around forgery and in painting algorithms, exploring both the identification of forgeries but also the creation of forgeries using fictional cutting edge color scanners and 2.5D printers able to microscopically replicate materials and, of course, works of art. He imagines that these microscopic printing and scanning technologies are openly commercialized and, and that everyone can actually buy them, uh, like we do now with 3D printers, for example. We produced a film exploring this narrative and we created a series of props for the film using Casio's 2.5D printer. And we found during this process that the 2.5D technology, as it currently is, very suitable for creating props for filming, which is already quite a huge industry for 2.5D printing applications. 